What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Randomir, welcome back to the channel. Okay, yeah, it's been a bit, a bit of a while, as to say, peeps. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I thought I would make this video today to share with you guys first impressions of the new battlefield. I don't even know what to call it. Um, the event itself is called the Mysterious Sea. Um, well, that's what it says at the top anyway. Um, I just want to show you guys first impressions of it, give you my opinion. Feel free to share down below what you think about this. Let me know. Um, show you around the map um, and just generally sort of talk about it itself. So <clears throat> the new event is in the thing that they've been hyping up for fucking so long now. Um, and actually, well, if I show you the map, and then you guys can make your opinion of it, of whatever you please. So, look at the map, right? Um, it's about to say exactly the same. So it's actually to the left. It should be to the left, right? So this is actually 148. After you, you need to wait for 30 minutes for... Okay, yeah, exactly. And it'll actually be situated, depending on what kingdom you are, because obviously I believe that they bring out the updates to certain kingdoms at certain times. I may be wrong with that. Maybe they've all brought it out at once. I don't know. But anyway, so... Uh, 148 is here. This is the new map itself uh, for the Mysterious Seas. In the center, you have, if it's going to fucking load, the, the smallest of thrones. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? Come on, man. That's tiny. Absolutely pathetic. I kind of like the graphics on it, but <clears throat> yeah, don't really. I'll give that a two out of ten. You know, one for effort, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I think that's stu that's just not very good. Uh, so basically, the idea of this is ex it's basically exactly the same as the fucking mineral vein, right? There's, there's not many differences other than it's got this bit in the middle where you've got your towers. <clears throat> now, obviously, what will happen is you will fight to capture the, mar the marine throne. And obviously, the longer you hold it, the more rewards you will get. Now, I don't know the exact specifications of this event. Um, we had... Uh... Oh, yeah, guess what? I, I gave 148 peace for seven days, and we're actually winning events. <laughs> we ain't won for fucking months, mate, or however long it is since I've been fighting them. But anyway, yeah, that tells you a lot, doesn't it? SJU, hey? Anyway, a uh, slight sidetrack. But yeah, so this is exactly like the mineral vein itself um as you can see there is absolutely fucking nobody here nobody around um i found one other castle around here somewhere oh no wait i'm telling a lie there are people here who are these see this is the, makes me laugh as well i oh, know you, you're of a lower power even I wouldn't sit around without a shield, and I'm not even that strong in an event like this when it hasn't even opened up, because things can go fucking wrong. So I don't advise you turn up into this event, take your shield off, and sit around and do nothing, you know. I'm not saying that's a great idea anyway, but, um, yeah, you don't know who... I don't know how many kingdoms are incorporated into this one, you know. Um, we're going to have a look at the kingdom buffs. It's basically increased mark, uh, maximum March rally troops. Uh, moving on, killing monsters. So the more monsters you kill and the more gathering resources you gather, um, that will increase your march capacity to a certain degree. Let me have a quick look at this. Oh, Lords. I should have probably done a bit of preparation, really, but actually, I'm not really that bothered about this. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Killing monsters and obtain points after accumulating a specific number of points. Oh, Lords. Uh, okay, so I'm exactly the same as Mineral Vein. The more you take stuff, capture stuff, kill stuff, you will obviously gain attributes to help you conquer the main throne. <clears throat> um, fierce battle on the sea. There are three different stages, is it? Battle for the marine throne itself. Um, so there's a battle for the altar stage one, which is currently underway. Battles for the altar stage two go to view. Oh, okay. Well, that's not even open yet anyway. Um, and this is not even open yet either. Oh, hello. These new crystals, right? Now, unless I can find out, explore the sea. Now, 
first opinion on the rewards that are available by exploring the sea, right? I think they're pretty fucking poor, right? 500 points may be very easy to gather, right? 1,500, yeah, 3,000, yeah. The stuff that there are actually... Two blue chests. <laughs> what? Like, uh, just laughable. Laughable rewards. Maybe that is a little bit more of... Probably not at all, but really... I mean, like, wow, 300 crystals? <whistles> Fucking pushing it out there, you know. Um, now, these black gold stone, as to how valuable they are and where you can use them, I actually haven't figured that out yet. So, for the benefit of the video, if anyone has or anybody knows of any information that I'm missing out, because, again, I apologise, I haven't done a lot of research into this. I saw it was open. I checked out other people's channels. Nobody had posted about it. So I thought, well, fuck it. Let's get in there first. Um, you know, so obviously this is Marine Altar 1. Um, but that is under protection status for at least another 18 hours. Anyway, <clears throat> as to where I can actually... Okay, so rewards available for the occupation reward. Uh, what is that? What One advanced crystal globe and one magic key? Increase all soldier units HP. Ooh, hello. Is that... Wait, after occupying the altar, all players in this level will get item rewards and attribution bonus. Oh, okay. So you'll gain attribution bonuses that will only be effective within the actual Mysterious Sea itself. Each player can enjoy smaller attribute bonuses for once only. The attribute bonus cannot be stacked. Increase all soldier units 10%. I may need to do a little bit more research. I may bring out like a more of a, a detailed guide. But this is more sort of uh, a first glance look at the new battlefield. Um, you know, you can obviously gather. Hitting monsters um, gives you this in return. Uh, the Naga Siren level 24. Basically exactly the... Uh, what's that? A ner Neretic Octopus? Narrating? No, it's got to be narrating. Uh, yeah, feel free to take the piss. I don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, so the rewards you get for the hitting the monsters, basically exactly the same. Let's have a quick look. Do it again, just for the sake of the video. Oh, my little horse. <gasps> no! Fucking love that. It's real good. Uh, right, anyway, so monster report. Yeah, that's basically we get array material packages. Thumbs up for that one. Other than that, <laughs> garbage. Um, obviously, you can gather. Um, I've been gathering on this same particular spot um, for about 25 minutes now. Uh, apparently the gathering has ended. Um, but my troops haven't returned home, which is always really, really makes me feel good inside to know that, that you know, they always test these updates before they bring them out. Um, so, yeah, I don't even know. And this is why you shouldn't send a lot of troops either. <clears throat> don't send a full march. Because, again, I believe they can be attacked. And it is... Uh, you know, you can receive losses and wounded troops as well. It's not like the Dragon Campaign where you get all your troops back. So, you know, if you do lose troops over here, uh, I did read somewhere that they will be in an exile tower. So for the lower camps, these camps hit these, um, these spots here, for example, right? They have troops on them, right? If you have a look here, details of the troops, right? You could quite easily just kill the troops with a normal march and then send 10,000 catapults to go and, you know, pick up the resources that are on them. Because at the end of the day, what's the point in leaving 300,000 troops on a plot for someone to attack when all you're receiving in return is 1,500 crystals, you know? That's not worth it, mate. Do up the, you know, weigh up the pros and the cons. Unless you're a massive spender and your balls are so big you're not expecting anybody to attack you whatsoever, then, yeah, feel free to do whatever the fuck you want, but... You know, from a realistic, from for, for the rest of us who actually live on planet Earth, um, you know, don't put a full march on these plots because if someone attacks you, potentially got, you know, 300,000 wounded or 300,000 losses yet to experience it yet. And you've got to ask yourself, is that really worth it for 1,200 crystals? <laughs> you could go and rob that from someone's mind, piece of piss. You could find that in an hour from your own mind. So, yeah, weigh up the risk factor. Don't leave full marches out there. Um, and obviously, you know, who's this one here? 625. Obviously, I'm not going to go ahead and attack that. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, it's just sort of like little tips and tricks for you guys out there. Don't waste what you don't need to waste, you know, especially if you're a non-spender, as to say. 
because uh, stuff like fine iron is really hard to get hold of. So yeah, basically just a first glance <clears throat> at the new event. That's great because that is actually on the map there, right? That pink dot, right? Although I can't select it, it's actually my fucking civilization mine. But it's showing me where it is on the <laughs> <Excuse> <laughs> I swear they do not test their updates correctly before they bring them out. They rush them out for the money, you know, and then and then patch it as as you go along, which is very similar to a, a, what a lot of game producers do, I suppose. But uh, yeah, the throne garbage, mate. Looks absolutely garbage. Share your opinion. Where is it? Down. Look how bare this looks. Look at it. It's like what? what I want to put something in here. You know, you're scrolling up here and then you've got another bare piece of ground. There's nothing there. This tiny little throne. That will look even smaller when that bubble comes off. I know that may sound a bit obvious, but it will look even worse when that bubble. We've got such a tiny little throne. It's barely the same size. You know, like two of these stacked on top of each other would make one of them. And these are just catapults. So, yeah, you need to sort that out of Clash of Kings. That's not good enough, I'm sorry. But that's really, that's a piss poor creation or an attempt to make a throne. You know, look at the look at the throne in, in, in the actual main kingdom. I wonder if we can go back here. I'm just going to leave that. I can't even stand being in there any longer. I don't want to sit around and gather and do shit. I hate gathering. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of it. But also something I will mention about on this video as well. Is they have also brought out a new free skin. Now, I may make a separate video. Actually, I probably will do. Um, yeah, but we, but yeah, top right hand corner, go check it out or check out the next video that I'm about to upload because I'll make a separate video about that because this one's pushing on a bit. So, yeah, new first glimpse at the new battlefield. Let me know what you think. Uh, personal opinion pff, most of the updates that Clash of Kings bring out nowadays are fucking garbage, aren't they? The fact that they're bringing out free skins, I mean, that's a thumbs up. It took them long enough, but only five years. But, uh, yeah, Mr. Random, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Share your opinion down below. And anything I may have missed out. Again, I, I didn't do my research. Apologies, but I just wanted to get in there first and make a video about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will catch you peeps later.